What's up? This is Six Leaf Clover Fire here, and this is episode 24 of Down the Ladder. So, before uh, we begin this episode, there are a couple of things I want to note. First of all, I am very sleepy. Well, sleepy is not the right word. I'm, I'm run down. I'm pretty tired. It is 11.30, and... Yeah, so that's that's one thing. Number two, I felt a little bit nauseous as well. Um, not not like anything too severe. I I just had to take uh, some tums because my stomach was a little upset. So I'm gonna kind of keep keep these things in mind when I look back on these games in the future and see if my emotional state, things like that, kind of have an impact on my game. Which, it would make sense that they would. Before we jump into today's game, I want to look at yesterday's game. Because I went on an emotional roller coaster, and I ended up getting tilted in the end. Because I finally was coming out with a win, but then uh, got forked, and then game by a pawn. And lost my rock and just resigned. So, a few things. First of all, there was a really awesome person that commented on my video. Uh, first of all, correcting my title because I <laughs> used the wrong title. Second of all, they told me that I shouldn't have resigned in that position. And uh, I guess the idea is I could have always played for a draw. You know, a stalemate. Very possible. I, I could have. Uh, especially at my, uh, like, kind of our level, you know. Uh, but I got, I got tilted, right? And I decided to resign. So, I have a few thoughts. First of all, I like my opening. I, I have a, I have more of a goal. What I feel like I absolutely needed to do, all this was good. Uh, I felt like, I feel like I had more of an opportunity to get cancelled, because it's move 14, and could have cancelled, but I didn't, and lost my winning edge, and I actually lost the right to castle very soon after, so if I could castle by move 4, that'd be great, obviously that's not always possible. So I need to start developing pieces more on the king side uh, and just getting castled, especially if I'm playing black, because I'm on the defensive. There's a reason why it's called the King's Indian Defense, the Scandinavian Defense, um, the Slav Defense, um, you know, so. Uh, again, you know, I even talked about A5 here. I had a brilliant move on accident, which is a cool move, I'm not going to lie. But I was starting to get frustrated because I I didn't have a clear edge until this moment here. And I found a fork. And finally I was able to get a clear edge, but then I got forked. Now, a few reasons I think this happened. First of all... I have less than two minutes on the clock going into an endgame. Now, endgame isn't a particular strength of mine. It's something I want to really strengthen and fortify. But currently, it's not a strength. And I have five minutes, the same as my opponent. Maybe I would have realized this would have gotten a fork. It's very possible. Because um, I only spent eight... eight uh, no, not even 86. I, I don't know how many because you gain time back. Um, so I just, I lost. You know, so something I've been thinking about. Tactics pop up in the end game. So two goals for this next game I play. You know, I'm doing a good job on not hanging pieces. But two things. Castle sooner. For sure, because I will lose my opportunity too. Guaranteed. And 
give myself more time in the end game and look for tactics in the end game. Not just mate and ones, but actual like forks and things like that. So yeah, let's get a game going. And let's try not to fall down the ladder, but if I do, tomorrow I'll get back up. Okay. So again, an E4 opening. Playing good old Scandi. Except the Scandi. Usually not too common. Here I get... Um, you know, these are moves I can pre-move. This is completely fine. The bishop ever comes out. Well, no, I can't target that. But the idea is now I'm not going to be getting my queen kicked around as much. Okay. So maybe let's start to try to uh, castle. Uh, that looks good. I'll uh, just get my bishop out. Well, I think that's fine. The shop can't come here. Oh, you know, I okay. Here's the thing. I want to get this bishop up first. And I know from experience this is a great great kind of idea. Um Obviously, this just breaks the pen. He's trying to castle. That's fine. I can go here. I'm like, this doesn't work. I really think it's fun. So, yeah. Um, and I can't, I can't get those are trapped. Just gonna, again, just baiting weaknesses. Yep, sweet. Um, now my bishop cannot get trapped. Um, I can just reposition it. This bishop's gonna come out. Look how weak his king side is. Like, just all, all the squares around. Um, here, obviously he's feeling kiddoing. Gonna lie down here. Um, I could castle queenside. I have no qualm against it, actually. Uh, I just... Um, he's launched a... King side attack. Uh, I want to start pushing these pawns. Launch a queen side attack. Because he's not castling king side, if that makes sense. So, instead, I'm just gonna try to go for a king side castle. Um, maybe put pressure here. I don't want to go here, though, necessarily. Well, that's completely fine. So I was afraid, well, here, then check, and I, it's not to protect anymore, but just that. So, completely fine going with a move like this. And the cool thing is, I can pitch to like, put a lot of pressure on the fiend kind of bishop. Okay, I'm, I feel like a... I've got lots of water here. Okay, so I need to start calculating and thinking. I really love that they have kind of opened up a way to kind of go for forks and tactics. So just dropping back, good. Uh, checking, good. Because, um, yeah. Checking is great. I think positionally I'm better. Um, obviously this move's good. Checking. Or just retreating. Um, retreating's fine. Gives me ability to later go for an attack. Here, I'm not really too worried about this bishop. Because, uh... Oh, this pawn, when he's six. Again, getting ready to castle. If 
feel like there's potential traps. I don't think this pond's going anywhere anytime soon, but just, you know, knowing that there are traps. I find that to be kind of an awkward move. I get the idea, I guess, but it's kind of an awkward move. Um, and it unpens the night, yeah. Have to watch out for that. So, because of that mouth, I think just developing here is good. Hmm, that's what a bit of scary move. It's trying to pin me. Uh, so again, I, I really wish I would have been cancelled by now. But, uh, this move's great because it kind of avoids all this nasty stuff. Yeah. So. And it just develops. It's just naturally a good move. Now, after that move, uh, like that, it's perfectly reasonable. Making sure I still have the bow. Well, the other issue though. Hmm. Okay. Now, this is getting a little weird. This pond's hanging now. Oh man, I still have a castle, and this is the one thing I said I would do. Capturing this pawn isn't good because of that. So what do we do? What do I do here? Um, I also castle queen side. Um, I feel like that kind of creates a wedge, though. You know what I mean? It's just kind of annoying enough here that I just... Oh, yeah, no. I think this is the move of here. Um, that's not as big of a deal anymore. And yeah, that's a... Oh, because, yeah, no. Yeah. Because now, so I'm, I'm cutting this queen off. That one guy I, ta I was talking about just like my comment. Again, I really need a castle as soon as possible. I just get, I get so distracted. But you know what? That could be an idea, I guess. Because it's like, oh, take, and then... Okay. Okay. Interesting attack. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. 
Hmm. Hmm. Regarding not having cancelled. Again. Into a double thing. Um, man. Tricky. Here. Obviously, this doesn't work. This, uh, this one's material. But, it's a sweet idea. Probably more or no. Do I want a castle in the vicinity of a knight? Or I just want a castle on the main side. And get forked here. Castle King's son. I think my position's fairly solid. I have kind of a nice bond structure, although I... These pieces are kind of cramped, whereas bishops are pretty good. I'm gonna hate my castle. Inside. If he casts his queen side, there might be some potential to win this pawn. So it's kind of unclear. Kind of unclear. So I thought that looked good for him, but yeah, his bishop's stronger, so cool, it's the undefended knight. an interesting move here. Again, just saying, I want to positionally be better and just keep threatening. And then castling would actually be mate. So just positionally, I want to crush him. Here, here. I mean, yeah, but you just block out your bishop. So... Um, 
I don't know. These moves feel kind of weird because the only. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you castle, you just get mated. Okay. So, again, you know, I'm just kind of weakening the squares around the king. Question is, where do I want to move my. my, uh, queen? Um, keep it along this diagonal. I think. I'm gonna get this. Okay, I'm gonna be trying to hook me. But. Possibly ignore that. At some point, this is a fork. Oh. So that's a good idea to keep in mind. Okay, now I can see the idea of this. <sighs> can I punish him? No, because the right, never mind. Um, this is a beautiful outpost, actually. That's what I'm gonna go for. I'll expect. Uh, hmm. Okay. I feel like I can possibly shut that down. I just have to look out for holes. Um, here. That doesn't work, does it? Because, check. It's really bad, actually. For me. This attack's actually strong. Quite strong. Um, hmm. I stop that without weakening. Hmm. Maybe just move my king over. Maybe unpan this one. To get out of check. I like that idea of March. Probably, yeah, I can probably shut this attack down. Um, and I can also just go for this outpost potentially. Um, here. Mm, that's, that's pretty bad for, uh, for white, I think. So, now I play here. Um, fully expect this capture. So, moving my king in the corner does two things. First of all, sound pest isn't nearly as scary. Second of all, on, on pins. Now I have two semi open files. This king is not castled, mine has. Um, I'm probably missing something because my opponent's been playing quite aggressively, and none of his moves have seen, seemed particularly bad or anything. Now he castles. It's kind of weird because his king is weak. Um, yeah, I mean, look at that. That's what I'm going for. That's my idea. Now look. Kind of fully unleashed. He doesn't have a check. Um, these are nightmare outposts for, uh, for my opponent to have to deal with. And one is with check. Uh, 
Interesting. Look. I'm getting in. Check. Okay. Um. Here. I wonder if you're... Oh, no, I can't play that now. I can play that. I mean, I could. I just... <laughs> this would be a bad enough. Um, here, though, is interesting. That's here. Um, again. My idea is I'm just going to try to sneak in. I'm calling his bluff. I don't... I mean, if he sacrifices... Even if he sacrifices his rook, it's okay. Just move here. Already getting into an endgame. I think this is really bad for white. This is looking really scary for white to have to deal with. Um, this pawn can't really be defended. Okay, yeah, yeah. I just jump into this outpost and it's like, yo, know, it's gonna sink in. Question is, do I go for that post first, or uh, which would also attack this one twice with a fork? But yeah, I do that, and then I go here, and then I'm throwing me. Okay, y'all, I'm feeling pretty confident about this one, but we'll see what happens. This is a very positional style of play, but it's also quite tactical as well. I'm just um, really choking out the king. King probably can't come here. Because, well, that looks like it's mate, actually. Uh, this is the mate square. The square of death is what I'll call that. Um, okay, he's trying to distract me. I think he was seeing this. I think that's what he was seeing. And while that is a, a strong outpost, um, I don't know how much he can do to stop that. Except, um, you know, I might have to play here first, um, just to defend here because I don't want check. Or, you know, I could say I don't want any of that. I'll just sacrifice my rook. Sacrificing my my rook to stop an attack and completely destroy my opponent it was very interesting. Again, here just as much with here, and if I do a simple move like that, it might just be better. I think this is more forcing. I think that take and then I don't think you can stop me. I don't think there's a way to stop me here. I mean, you would have to give up your queen, right? Yep. And then here. And then um, I think you have to give up your queen, and you just get mad. And I mean, I'll just have a one queen, right? That that rook sacrifice right there might have just been a brilliant move, um, or a major blunder. I honestly don't know. It was either brilliant or a major blunder. Uh, I'm threatening mate in one. Right here again. B two was a, was a death death square. Now I did technically get a brilliant move last game. But I don't consider it a brilliant move because I didn't realize my rook was being attacked. I was just trying to get my knight out of the line of fire for my opponent's king. Uh, however, if that rook sacrifice... Yeah, exactly. However, if that rook sacrifice was, br uh, was brilliant, I knew what I was doing. Yeah, And then... Um, 
Oh, wait a second. Hmm. Oh. Guess I just get made it, don't I? Hmm. No. Wait a second. No. I guess it was a blunder. Um. Man, I have mint one, but there, I. Could get... No, my opponent has mint one. Good game. Good game. <sighs> All right, falling down the ladder. That was a crazy game, though. Kind of disappointed, but I guess I can't be too disappointed. Let's see what I learn. All this was fine. Finally, castle on me 14. Wasn't one of my goals. And I found myself running a little low on time. Um, I feel like positionally and tactically, I was just doing well. Maybe that was the move. Uh, the issue is, that's kind of rough. I don't know. Maybe that's the idea, but... Yeah. I thought I, I had unstoppable made at this point. No, nope, it was my opponent. All right, so it wasn't that brilliant. It was very clearly a blunder. All right, my opponent had a brilliant move. No, it's not me. Okay, cool. They played 70% accuracy, they played 81% accuracy. They played 1,300, I played at 1,000. Okay, let's go through it. I like all this. I lost three games in a row, that kind of sucks, you know. Um, Knight C6, no, I, I just wanted to try to castle. Overextending. Yeah, that didn't look great to me. Uh, H5. Just immediately. That's A. H5? I don't know. It was like kind of artificial. Let's see if we need a four track I thought about, but I decided not to go for it. Okay. That's good. That's good. Obviously, this is even worse. Guys, I don't know what to do anymore. I wasn't able to castle last game or the game before that and lost because I couldn't castle. And now Stockfish is saying, I castle, that's a mistake. Okay, and this is the trap I was talking about. I found it's better than that. Oh, this is fine. Okay, mistake. Guess just let the attack keep going, right? F5. Okay, but I literally just watched a video on um, how you should never play your move your F pawn. So because of, okay, I guess the idea is this. 
that's fine. Okay, just a little frustrated right now, y'all. Okay, but I open up a file. How is this a mistake? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's on an undefended square. Discovered attacks possible, but I am no longer in danger of getting checked. Okay. 95. Mistake. D4 is this. Oh, no, that's not D4. D5. I don't have... Oh, it's saying for my opinion. Um, nice C5. I thought about this, but that's just trading material. Why do I want this? I guess that's the idea. I thought I was just completely checking my opponent out at this point. Oh, hey, okay. So not brilliant, but this is the best move. Which is weird because I was actually leaning towards this. So sacrificing my rook wasn't actually the problem. This was great. Um, I just had to magically know that there was a mate in four that my opponent just found instantly um, so now they found a brilliant move yeah i'm threatened let's just watch any move except the move that they just played that guy's a wizard i don't know what else to say it's force mate yeah okay very frustrated, guys. I thought I played well, but I actually didn't play that well. Um. I'll reach out to my opponent, see what their thought process was. Um what their side of the story was they think I can improve on. I am proud of myself for finding um, this. I thought I had a great mating idea. Problem is here, here, here. I'm getting extremely frustrated, by the way, because when I castle, it's a huge mistake. When I don't castle, I lose. So, I'm getting extremely frustrated. I might just start castling move four no matter what. Just, I don't know. Doesn't matter if a piece is hanging. I'll show you what I mean. Um, I'm gonna say this is, I'll say this is one of my best games. I had a cool rook sacrifice. Okay, and not even letting me. Okay. Not, not, not really good, y'all. I, I lost three games in a row. Hey, that's why this is called Down the Ladder. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I am around the exact same ELO I was when I started almost a month ago. We'll, we'll double check. Yeah, okay. We'll double check. Um, oh, saved analysis. So I'm 10.16 right now. Down the ladder, episode one. Let's see what my rating was. Oh, I was 1018. So I have made zero progress on my rating so far, which is good, right? <laughs> I'm gonna say it's good. Um, I don't know. I I was told by some some somebody on Facebook I'm at my level. I'm supposed to win half my games and lose half my games. That's kind of how it's been going. So. I guess in that re regard, I'm doing great. Um, just, it doesn't feel like it, right? Let's say I'm white here, and 
let's just play something like this. Um, even if they play that, why not just castle, right? Castle move four. What's? I'm being sarcastic, but I. It's it's getting to the point. I'm thinking just castling move four, no matter what, is the way to go because um, I wait too long to castle. I lose. I don't castle. I lose. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and reach out to my opponent, see what he thinks I could have done better. I don't expect a response. Usually, I don't get a response, but you know that's just kind of how it is. Okay, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for episode 25 of Down the Ladder. As tomorrow, actually, I'm also meeting with my uh, chess coach, Solomon. Solomon Rodell. He's, like, one of my favorite chess players ever. So, check him out. Link's in the description. Uh, let me know what you thought of the game. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, that was close. I was one move away from mate, but kind of hilariously, my opponent just calculated mate and four. That was brilliant. And they, they won. So. Alright. Thank you all so much for watching. And um, I will see you tomorrow. See ya. Peace.